every time I ask you a question, you dodge it, right? And I'm getting angrier and angrier, right? That you do that. Let's, let's, let's take right? a breather. Let's it makes breather. you seem it makes you seem like a dishonest piece of garbage, right? I'm getting sick of it. Um, the argument is basically that Malpass's argument uh, makes an, a metaphysical assumption that uh, of an absolute time, which says that you know. Um, time only passes in the actual world, then basically that without anything to make counterfactual indeterminacy true or false, um, they can't have truth values. But on the relational view of time, um, which like Craig and people hold, um, it's a dur um, time is a duration which exists wholly independently from any events. And so on this view, there's a causal relationship pertaining to time and events. Uh, on on Mal, um, sorry, on Malpass's view, um, and so I think maybe that's the big difference is that Craig notes that relational time entails that temporal relations arise as a result of the occurrence of events. So events cause time, not the other way around. And he says that um, um, basically that. It, there were no other events occurring inside or outside the universe. Malpass's choice whether to flip the coin um, in the actual world, um, if, if he would have chosen otherwise, it wouldn't have, uh, this actual world wouldn't have existed. It would have been a different world that was the actual world. Okay, interesting. Um, I don't see how any of that changes that, anything, right? The key point is that essences on libertarian free will don't explain outcomes. Like, I don't, I don't really see why you need to wheel in any apparatus about theories of time. And no theory of time is going to change that fact. That has to be true. It has to be true that on libertarian free will, that... Um, Antecedent conditions can explain outcomes uh, in order for Molinism to work. It's just straightforwardly and consistent with libertarian free will. So, anybody who appeals to creaturely essences to, you know, whatever ground counterfactuals of creaturely freedom or whatever is just confused. Yeah, but I think he's saying that, sorry, and you may be right here, but. I think he's saying that in the same way that uh, snow, in this actual world, snow is white, if and only if snow would have been white in this actual world, right? And I think he's saying in the same way, if the creature's actions or events cause what happens in time, then just looking at the disquotation principle, namely what the creature chooses, is just looking at what um, would have occurred. Right. So look, you agree with me, right? That on libertarian free will. Uh, I'm sorry, you agree that for Molinism to work, it has to be the case that the essence is going to be the antecedent of the counterfactual conditional, right? Sorry, the essence is going to be the, the what? The antecedent. The creaturely essence is going to be the antecedent. Or it's at least going to be a crucial part of the... It's going to be the essence plus some set of circumstances that the agent is placed in that is going to be the antecedent of the counterfactual conditional, right? Uh, yeah, I think that it's the uh, creature's... Uh, the creature's uh, essence in this case. Yeah, and so you understand that on libertarian free will, right, any antecedent, right, is going to underdetermine the outcome. That's what it means for it to be a libertarian free action. Yeah, but it seems like on, on the source um, that the agent is, is libertarianly free uh, so as so long as they are the source of their the primary source of their actions and given that they're 
their essence is what causes their actions, it seems like they're still going to be the source of... No, of that's just poison. obscuritism. Because if I ask you, why did the agent choose A rather than B, there can't be an answer to that question on libertarian free will. Yeah, but... So, you're saying, why did, uh, why did the creature choose A rather than B in this possible world? Right. For any choice in any world, right, if the agent chooses A rather than B, what explains that on libertarian free will? Not the antecedent conditions, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure now that I'm thinking about this other way of thinking about libertarianism that um, their, their will. Um, causing the actual world to take place instead of them um, having these you're just you're just reasons. not answering the question right if I say well why in the in, in that world right was it a rather than B saying their will caused it is just repeating the claim that I'm asking you to explain well I mean would you say that if somebody's will um, causes if somebody's will is the reason they chose something, that, that their will is an antecedent condition. I'm just going to ask, why did they will that rather than be? Right? And if you're a libertarian, there's going to be no antecedent fact you can appeal to to explain that. Right? Okay. So well, it's just, true. it's just, yeah. So that's it. That's all there is to the objection. No antecedent conditions, right, explain outcomes on libertarian free will. What it means for an act to be libertarian free is that it's unexplained, right? And given that that's the case, right, you can't appeal to any antecedent to say, if this antecedent were to hold, then this outcome would obtain, if what we're talking about is a libertarian free choice, right? That's what I've said to you from day one, right? I just don't yeah, understand any of the pushback, right? That's like all there is to it. Yeah, I'm, I, I get. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should just uh, think about think about it more. But I, I'm. I'm thinking oh, look, that I think I understand more. what's going on here. You're very, very attached to the idea that, right? God can't have like determined everything. Because then you're going to get Calvinism, which you don't even think is no, biblical, I would, I would be right? Calvinism, I would. And you know, you like the idea that you know, obviously, people like Kirk McGregor and Alvin Plantinga are all very smart guys, right? And so you're very hopeful that they have some solution to the problem, right? But what I'm saying is just very, very simple, right? And I just don't see how anything that they're saying is addressing it, well, you know. And I don't see well, how I, you're not seeing that, right? Like, well, I've laid it out very, them. very clearly. It's right. not even just them. Like, the, the other paper I gave, how Molinists can have their But look, forget, too, forget the other paper. Forget the other paper. Just think about what I'm saying, right? You understand that's what libertarian free will is. Any time, right, I ask you, why does an agent do A rather than B in a libertarian free case? You understand... That if we're talking about libertarian freedom, there can't be an answer to that question. Otherwise, you're not talking about libertarian free will. And given that that's the case, since you understand that for the counterfactuals of creaturely freedom to work in the Molinist model, it has to be the case that given some antecedent, some outcome would obtain, right? You're just contradicting the very idea of libertarian free will. It doesn't matter anything about theories of time. It doesn't matter about temporal logics. It doesn't matter about the counter, you know, counterfactual, the law of the counterfactual, uh, conditional excluded middle. None of that, right, addresses the fact that there's just that basic logical problem there. So you're saying nothing explains it, right? And so yeah. If, if conditional excluded middle is true, you're saying that's irrelevant. Even if there is a truth value that God could know, it wouldn't matter because 
nothing explains why. Well, there's nothing to be known because it doesn't follow well, from the fact. It doesn't follow wrong? from the fact that any. Um, it doesn't follow from the fact that any antecedent um, is in place that some outcome will or would obtain because that would imply compatibilism or determinism of some kind, right? And that's exactly what libertarianism is denying. It doesn't matter what the antecedent is, right? Either of, if we're talking about a choice between two things, a libertarian free choice between two things, either of the two uh, outcomes are consistent, are equally consistent with the antecedent conditions. So it's not the antecedent conditions which explain the outcome. The outcome is fundamentally unexplained. That's what it means to be libertarian free will, is that there's no explanation. Right? Okay, what if you looked at it in the opposite way that the, uh, the antecedent conditions are explained by the outcome? What does that even mean? I'm saying that if this time works in the op if the causal time works in the opposite direction, right, then it is the the choice that dictates the antecedent cause. I'm asking, the, the right? I'm asking you, right? Why did the agent do A rather than B? Can that question have an answer on libertarian free will? Well, no, it's probably just a uh, irreducible choice. Yeah. It can't have an answer. It means it has no explanation. But for counterfactuals of creaturely freedom to work, it has to be the case, right, that given some antecedent, some outcome uh, would obtain, right? However you want to understand that relation, you know, entailment, okay. strict entailment, implication, explanation, grounding, whatever. Whatever that relation is, the point is, it's just not the case that there's a fact, <laughs> right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I'm necessarily rejecting that part. I think you have I'm, to I'm, be. I'm, you have to be rejecting I, I it. You, so then I want to ask you the converse of that, right? And say, um, what if it's the case that the antecedent causes are such due to the agent's um, choice, right? Yeah, and then I'm going to say why that choice rather than the other choice, and we're going to bottom out in nothing. But right? why, was that, why would that be real, relevant? Because the point is, is that there's going to be a point on libertarian free will where the antecedent right, breaks with the outcome. If looked at that, that way, in that direction. I don't know what you mean by in that direction. Right? We're just talking about libertarian free will, right? And I'm saying what libertarian free will, right, is committed to is the idea that antecedents conditions don't explain the outcomes of choices. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm agreeing. Right. With that. Okay, now we also agree that for Molinism to work, what you need are it needs to be the case that given some antecedent, right, there one of the two outcomes is the one that would obtain, right? See, I don't think that's the way to look at it. I think it's the opposite. I think it's given what attains one of the conditions takes place. I think that's what he's arguing. H how is that going to change anything? I don't get it, right? If it goes in the other direction, right, there still has to be that underdetermination relation. That's what it means for it to be libertarian freedom, that it's underdetermined. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's, it's, I don't know. Because I think we're going to agree that the antecedent causes aren't what makes the decision for the agent. Look, it. look, does it make any sense to say would it make any sense for me to say that if we had an indeterministic fair coin, right, does it make any sense for me to say, oh, um, it's, uh, it's going to be heads that's flipped? Would I have any good reason to say that? No, but you might have good reason to say that if it is the case that the uh, coin flipped heads, 
than the antecedent conditions or that, that this world would be in the such that it is, right? The opposite of that. What difference there is does that nothing make? that explains it, but yeah, so because there's nothing to explain it, right? It's not a fact that I then it, that I could know. Now you might say, well, God can know it because um, He can see at once what all the future outcomes are. Okay, fine, I can grant that for the sake of argument, right? Problem is that if we change the situation to saying this is what would have happened had I flipped the coin, right? God being able to see all the future outcomes doesn't help him see the answer to that question because um, it's not like it's not like there is a world in which one of the two outcomes obtains because we're not talking about the actual world, right? When we're in the actual world, it's actually true. Let's say I'm going to flip. Let's say it's true that I'm going to flip a coin in five, you know, in five minutes, right? Well, given that that's true, it's true. It may well be true that the world we're in is the one where, when I flip it, it turns out to be heads. We'll find that out once I flip the coin. Now God will know, presumably, prior to me flipping it, right? But if I don't flip the coin and just say had I flipped a coin five minutes ago, this is what would have happened. What sense does it make to say that there's an answer to that question? Yeah, because if it's an indeterministic coin, nothing about the fact, nothing about, no fact about the coin is going to explain why it's, why it would be heads rather than tails, right? No fact about the coin would explain that because it's an indeterministic coin. So what would be what would be appealed to to say that it would be one rather than the other? There's nothing. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't And there's no, no and the key point about that is that there's no relevant disanalogy between that case and the agent. So when McGregor starts talking about essences, right? He's just engaged in a form of mystification. I mean, I'm sure that it's unwitting. I don't, I'm not saying he's insincere, right? He's just confused, right? It changes nothing to talk about creaturely essences because creaturely essences on libertarian free will are no different from the coin because the facts about the coin don't explain the outcome. And the facts about the agent don't explain the outcome. That's what yeah, it means for it to be libertarian to free will. I don't think he's trying to do that. He agreed with Malpass that on that. Do you think? That, do you think there's a fact of the matter about the coin flip, the counterfactual uh, coin flick? Well, no, because I don't think the coin. Yeah. So that's it. So then no. that's all. That's all that I'm saying. If there's no fact of the matter about the coin flip, there's no relevant disanalogy with the human agent on libertarian free will. That's the point. There's no relevant disanalogy. Because if we're talking about libertarian free will, the facts about the agent, which is to say its creaturely essence, can't explain which of the two outcomes will have, would have obtained. Just like the facts about the coin don't explain which of the two would have obtained. There's just no fact of the matter about what would have um, happened had I flipped a coin, an, uh, an indeterministic fair, uh, fair coin five minutes ago. There's no fact of the matter about it. And if there's no fact of the matter about that, that means there can't be a fact of the matter about what counterfactual agents would have done in some counterfactual circumstance if we're talking about a libertarian free act. Because the same reason why it doesn't, there isn't a fact of the matter in the coin case will hold in the creature case because the facts about the coin don't explain outcomes when those coins are indeterministic and fair. And the same is going to be true of agents. Like, yeah, I just don't know how many times I, I have to repeat that. What's the disanalogy? What's the disanalogy between the agent and the coin? 
If you agree, right, that there's no fact of the matter about the counterfactual coin flip, what's the disanalogy between the agent and the coin if we're talking about libertarian free will? Well, on this view, presumably it's because the, um, what actually takes place is a result of the action, right, of the, of the look, creature. Look, 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 given what they would look, do. look, 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 now, look, look, just wait, just wait, okay? Because I, I know you're just going to make me endure some more nonsense, right, that I can forestall by clarifying my point. You agree that the reason why the coin, there's no fact of the matter about the counterfactual coin flick, is because the antecedent condition, which is to say the facts about the indeterministic fair coin, right, don't entail any outcome. Yeah, on that view. Yeah, yeah. and now we also said that that's true of libertarian free will too, right? The facts about the agent don't entail any outcome, right? Well, the facts about the world don't entail the outcome, right? What difference does it make? The point is, the antecedent conditions don't entail the outcome on libertarian free will. If they did, we wouldn't be talking about libertarian free will, right? Yeah, but this, so this, I took, earlier this one I said this conception of libertarianism is what they call... And, 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 and I don't know why you're bringing up facts about the world, right? Because if you're, if you're sticking to McGregor's model, right, he's the one who's appealing to creaturely essences, right? As do Craig and, you know, all the other prominent Molinists that I know of, right? So the, the, the analogy is going to be very strict, with the coin. So if you think it's true that the coin, right, there's no fact of the matter about what the counterfactual coin flip is, flip is going to be in virtue of the fact that the coin, that the facts about the coin don't entail any outcome, right, then it's just going to be true that the same thing is, is true in the case of creaturely essences. Because if facts about the creaturely essence, right, explain some outcome. We wouldn't be talking about libertarian free will, right? Which is a point I've made over and over and over and over again. But in point of fact, I don't see any difference that it makes if you bring in other antecedent circumstances, right? If you say, well, it's not merely the creaturely essence, but also these facts about the world, right? Because either way, whatever those facts are, if they're in the antecedent, they can't entail, imply, explain, or whatever you want right, that outcome. Because if they could, we wouldn't be talking about libertarian free will. Because if we, if it was libertarian free will, right, the, then I could ask you, well, what explained that, right, and you'd be able to give an answer. But you understand perfectly well that if we're talking about libertarian free will, and I say, why did the agent choose A rather than B, you can't point to any fact that explains that. Because if you could, you wouldn't be talking about libertarian free will, right? Yeah, that's right. That's I don't. I yeah, so I just don't understand yeah. what the problem is. Like, why do I, I have? Why do I have I to have that. this conversation People like fifty times? That. Yeah, fifty times, right? But I thought you said you didn't understand. So look, things. in the counterfactual coin, if sorry, in the counterfactual uh, choice, what explains why the agent did A rather than B? Well, the 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 truth maker is the disquotation principle. That no, I'm asking what explain. Just give me an example. So if I say the agent, if I say if it was a libertarian free choice and the agent had a choice between chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream, let's just grant per impossibile that this made any sense of all, made any sense at all, right? And I said, okay, why is it that the agent uh, would have chosen chocolate rather than vanilla? What answer could you give that would be consistent with libertarian free will? Well, yeah, so, um, I mean, I, I think you're just going to reject it, right? Well, if, if, the, it, we were if we were talking about the actual world, could you give an answer to that question? Well, I think the actual world is just made actual by... Um, I'm asking, right, sure. if oh, you, what? let's say you, let's say you choose chocolate ice cream rather than vanilla. I present you with that choice, right? Right now, like five minutes from now, you're presented with that choice, right? Let's say you, ch you will choose chocolate, right? If, I, if that was a libertarian free choice and I asked you, 
what explained why you chose chocolate? Would there be an answer to that question? Could there be an answer to that question? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what my essence would desire. And, and haven't we been over this 40 fucking thousand times? Yeah, you want to if say I said, that why is it, why that, is it that, that your essence wrong. would desire? If I said, why is it that your essence desired that rather than the other thing? What would the answer be? Because uh, the disquotation principle. What the fuck are you talking you about, Converse? What the fuck are you talking about, right? The whole point is you understand, you understand, you understand on libertarian free will, right? There can't be an explanation. Yeah, there can't be an antecedent cause for the explanation. But yeah, that means the explanation, that, yeah, that means yeah, there the isn't going to be an explanation. Is, the essence is just the, 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 um, the, per, the, pers the essence is just the person who makes the decision. Sounds like look, causal. look, yeah, it's like a source hood. The same, I mean, this is look, the point is whatever facts you appeal to are going to be the same facts had you selected the other outcome. That's the whole fucking point. No, they're not. If you could appeal no, to another to set of facts, anymore. if you could appeal to another set of facts, right, then we could say, given that set of facts holds, right, antecedently, therefore, the outcome would be entailed. No, I, that's what I'm saying is that I think that you're looking at this in the same way that I just responded to in this argument. Now, I know you said you don't understand how the arrow of causation works between uh, in relation Look, to time. Look, I'm not right? interested in any of that. I know you're not. That's fine. Yeah. I'm interested in you explaining to me how we're talking about libertarian free will if you can appeal to an antecedent, right, to explain the outcome. Because the whole point of libertarian free will is that the same antecedent holds in both outcomes. That's the whole point. That's what makes it libertarian free will. So the antecedent is irrelevant. It underdetermines it. No, I'm just agreeing. And I've, I've said this 50,000 fucking times, right? So I don't know what you're talking about if you're talking about libertarian free will and you don't understand that. Yeah, well, whenever I tried to explain it to you, you said you weren't interested, so that's fine. I just want, I just want to understand, right? I just want to understand how is it libertarian free will if you can appeal to an antecedent? Well, an antecedent cause for the agent's action, I just don't take it that the agent's uh, free source sourcehood choice is Does an the antecedent, antecedent the differ? Way. Does the antecedent differ in the two in the two outcomes? Does it differ in the two outcomes? It makes yeah. po it makes possible what the outcome is. Yeah, okay, so the antecedent differs, right? So then there is an entailment relation. So that's yeah. determinism. That's determinism! Not, not taken in the opposite construal. Where what the, the fuck are you talking about? The agent causes what's actual, not that the... Uh, I'm asking the why, agent. I'm asking okay. why it is, right? In virtue of what it is, right? That the agent causes one thing rather than the other. And the whole point is that on libertarian free will, there can't be an answer to that question. Otherwise, it's not libertarian free will. That's fine, Jack. Look, if, if yeah. you're just going to be a, like get all emotional about it, I don't want to call. I am going to get all emotional Venus, about it because Venus you waste. You wait. Oh yeah. Venus oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. I can't wait to get Venus it. here. I can't wait okay. to get Venus here and see if he said that you. He said yeah. He said that you were rejecting conditional the law conditional middle the hold to a, a, a something that was um less I, i'm saying um, that's strict. irrelevant i'm saying that's irrelevant for the reason that i just gave right the reason why that's irrelevant is because in order for those counterfactuals to work at all you have to deny libertarian freedom because antecedents don't explain outcomes on libertarianism yeah, the I, same I antecedent, I the agree. same antecedent holds given both See, outcomes. So what it means yeah, for it to be libertarian freedom is that if I ask why did the agent do A rather than B, right, there's no answer. It's a brute contingent fact. It's a yeah, brute contingent fact. 
right? Yeah, you just keep saying something that I agree with. You're saying right. Is so that the just means is, that just means just nothing. You where you're missing. That just you're means saying, that just means right that you can't appeal to any antecedent to explain any outcome on libertarian free will. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense to say it was brute contingency. Okay, so whenever you say the antecedent causes in the world can't uh, explain what uh, the libertarian choice is, and I'm mm -hmm. saying yes, the libertarian choice explains what the antecedent conditions are. Again, right? How do you, if do you I, reject? I don't even understand what it means. The libertarian choice explains. Okay, then how the do you? Then how are you? Are. Then, yes. What? Yeah, that view, makes yeah. sense. That, that is totally mysterious. Were you in it's here just when gibberish. I laid all this out? Wait, yeah, no, that's what? just the relational time. That's the it's I'm not it's saying different. anything that has anything to do with any fucking theory of time. Okay, well, I keep telling you that. Relational causation. Just take the word time out of it. Relational Look, causation. it doesn't matter whether you understand it to be a causal relation or some other kind of dependency relation. The point is, right, that there can't be an entailment relation between those two things. There just is like this is the view. Look, I will just tell you right now. Okay, listen. Okay, so between time and events. Okay, look, listen. I'm going to give you the argument. Uh, this, so the argument in this uh, paper is, as Craig notes, relational time entails that uh, temporal relations arise as a result of the occurrence of events. So events cause time. Yeah, and again, you're talking about yeah, and I'm not saying anything about that. I'm saying the libertarian agent causes. Wait, but what Converse, means. you know you can't. You can't. I don't know why you said that. You know you can't uh, interchange time and cause there in that paper. So why would you say you can? Well, because Jack keeps saying I don't care about time, and the point. Yeah, but is you that but you can't causal... use that paper. But you know what? But that doesn't matter. You can't interchange that in that paper. Interchange the word time and cause that. in that paper. What about paper. the argument? Yeah, forget about all that stuff, right? But then, if it has nothing time. to do with the theory of time, then it's you can't bring it in, and it's it's horrible. Listen shit. on, listen on relational time. Okay, uh, relational time entails that the temporal relations arise as the result of the occurrence of events. So the libertarian agent's choice to de determine what events take pl what what takes place in time, not the other way around. That the, the occurrences of time plus antecedent causes determine the libertarian uh, choice. It's the opposite on this view. Now you might say that view is not in with the agenda. Fine. It's like you just can't listen. Well, if, yeah. I ask you, so, if I so, so let's. You, why do you choose chocolate rather than vanilla, on libertarian free will? Can there be an answer to that question? You're asking that in time. Why do I choose uh, one or the other? And what I'm saying is, my choice, the event causes the the uh, the time, like what happens I, in time. I ask, why is it? Yeah, that you on your conception. On libertarianism, can there be an answer to that question? Yeah, not on the cons not on the control that you're using. No. Yeah. So then I don't know what you're talking about because I'm talking okay. about libertarian free will. So there's, right? there's some now. What I is there's two options, right? Either there is an explanation in terms of antecedents, in which case you have determinant, or there's not. Right. In which case, if you have free will, right, it's libertarian free will. So let me just put this in the in the example that's on the table. OK, but I just don't know. So aging with the dichotomy that I just posed. Because I already I've already told you that on your construal of events, I agree with you. Yeah. So you understand that. And I don't think you're understanding the other. You understand construal. that it's determinism, right? If in fact it's not brutally contingent, right? If but yeah, there's if, some kind of cause, right? Yeah, if uh, right. Uh, but I'm saying conditions in I'm the world is cause the agent choice. Thing, yeah. So what I'm saying is, if it's not determinism, right? That means the choice is brutally contingent, which is to say irreducibly indeterministic, right? And that just means that if I ask why you do A rather than B, there's no answer. Okay, what, that's fine. I, I, I said on the, your on this construal, I just agree. Question: If there's no answer to the question, it doesn't follow from any antecedent 
that some outcome obtains. For God's sake. Okay, uh, maybe uh, Troyer or Soliers might want to that understands this as well might want to step in and, and try to steel man whatever I'm saying. 